Hey YouTube, it's Julie. It's uh, what, 6.40 a.m. on May 23rd. Um, I'm just taking the opportunity while I have it that everybody is asleep, <coughs> pardon me, to come on an update. So, um, I don't really have a heck of a lot to talk about, but that never means anything as far as length of video. Um, I missed my coming on here for my three month surge anniversary, um, which was on the 19th. So just a few days ago, um, I am officially three months post op. And let me tell you something, it went past, you know, you're waiting all along for, um, for the surgery date to come. And it seems like it's forever of a wait. And then um, you have the surgery and all of a sudden the weeks start flying by. I mean, the first week or two doesn't fly by so much because it's, um, well, I guess because you're healing and whatever, but um, once you're up and walking around and moving and you figured out how to get, you know, most of your protein and water in through the day, um, I, the weeks just go by. like extremely fast so um so three months i'm down uh well i'll tell you we'll start maybe with the numbers um i started um when i first weighed at toronto western hospital i was um i started at 258.4 and as of this morning i am 196.4 something let's say five just to be even I don't think that's what it is but whatever so 196 and a half pounds um so slowly but surely I'm I'm going down um <clears throat> it's a little bit over 60 pounds lost in three months which I think is pretty good I'm happy with that um it's what 20 pounds a month that's a good average, but uh, I, I realize that now it's time that it'll probably start slowing down a little bit. Um, uh, what else was I talk? Wanted to talk about? Um, yeah, you know, there's still days when it feels like, like I still have fat days. Yesterday I had a fat day. Um, it's funny because not all I'm finding, I'm learning that not all sizes are equal. Um, like for instance, I have a pair of size 18 jeans. They're too big for me. Um, I'm constantly hiking them up my butt because they keep falling down. Um, and I have a bunch of, uh, size 16 stuff. Um, and some of them fit well, some of them are a little bit big and some of them, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. And some of them are, um, are small, like cut off my circulation. I've also noticed that um, my fat that I have left is um, is getting really um, loose, like it's uh, it's really squishy. I'm a squishy now. Um, but what it causes is if your pants are too tight, it causes muffin top. <clears throat> I don't know why my. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'll put on a pair of pants that fit, feel comfortable, and then I look in the mirror and somehow I got a muffin top. Um, might be time to start thinking about uh, bringing in the Spanx, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's just I notice it. Um, it's better than being as big as I was, so whatever. Um, what else to talk about? Um... Oh, vitamins and stuff. Want to see my morning regimen of pills? This is what I take in the morning. Um, first thing, I sit these on my desk. Here, I'm going to lean you down. I sit these on my desk. Um, and I go through them one, one by one. So the two, li Ooh, the two little pink pills right here, those are B12. Um, it's a little bit more than the center says to take, um, but I find it helps me. And my B12 was a little bit low before surgery. Um, 
This one is my Provacid. I hate taking this pill because it's not full. It's It's got a lot of air in it. So I have to lose, for me to swallow pills, I have to lose them in a mouthful of water or whatever. And this one floats to the roof of my mouth and it gags me almost every single time. And then these ones are my multivitamins. They're, um, they're the Kirkland, I think I said this in my last video, they're the Kirkland prenatals. So I take two of these. Um, and that's what I take in the morning. And then throughout the day, I take um, my calcium. So at about lunchtime, I take one my one dose of calcium. And then at bedtime, I take the other. Uh, so this weekend, I'm going to be kind of MIA. Um, my father runs a... Um, a first aid um, you know when you go to events and there's the first aid guys like any of the festivals busker fest or whatever there's the guys the ambulances and they um, they're not like metro ambulances they're um, first aiders essentially he runs um, a, a program like that so it's a non-for-profit um and they do, they go to all kinds of um, events. They go to the auto show. They go to, um, or not, not the auto show, the um, the auction, the car auction. Um, they go to Busker Fest. They go to um, the Ice Fest in the winter. They, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they go to. And they do the first day there. Uh, this weekend, they do um, the, in Niagara, <coughs> the uh, slow pitch tournaments. And, um, guess who's going to that? I kind of put my, uh, hand up and said that I would help because two of his guys had to back out, which left him a little bit short and I'm trained. Well, I've got all the advanced first aid training, so I'm trained to help people, but, um, I've never done an event with him before, uh, nor even gone to an event, to be honest with you. So this will be the first time that I do that, um, much to my hubby's dislike, because uh, he um, he gets stuck for the weekend alone at home with the kids. Oh well, um, he'll get through it. <laughs> he always does. I do this to him probably more often than I should. Just like abandon him all weekend. Um, but anyways, it's for a good cause, and my father needed the help and whatever. So. So I'm doing it. So that's where I'll be. I'll be in Niagara all weekend long at the slow pitch, the Molson slow pitch. Um, <clears throat> doing, you know, bandaging up all the cut, cuts and scrapes and bruises and baseballs to the head and whatever. Um, I bought a bunch of Quest bars there. Anybody who is interested, the Quest bars are on sale at um, Popeye's this week, um, Popeye's Supplements or whatever the store is called. Uh, there's one at Dixie and Dundas, which is close to where I live. And the guy there was very nice to me because I couldn't figure out which one I wanted to buy, what flavor. And, um, so I asked him, Hey, if I were to mix and match and come up with 12, can I get it for the sale price? Cause they're selling the sale price is on a box and he let me do that. So I got a whole bunch of quest bars. Let's see if I can do this without screwing up the light. I can, I can. So I got a whole box of different flavors of quest bars, um, which are going to come in handy this weekend because I'm going to take some to the slow pitch so that I have snacks and I have to plan it out and make sure I have snacks and stuff. We eat at a lot, or they eat at restaurants when they're there. Um, and I don't know what the choices are. It's the place doesn't that they go to doesn't have an online whatever. So I'm bringing Quest Bars, and that way it doesn't matter what or where we go. I have something to eat. Um, I'm going to bring some snacks like uh, cheese strings and um, whatever. I haven't really decided everything that I'm going to bring. But anyways, I, I have to bring a little cooler bag or whatever with stuff that I can have. <clears throat> and lots of water so I don't get dehydrated. It's supposed to be nice and sunny out, which is nice. Um, well, I'm at 10 minutes. Um, I think that's about all that I was going to discuss. Um, 
hope everybody's doing good. If you're having surgery in the upcoming week, I'm thinking a bit about you. I hope that you have uh, an easy go of it and that you come out of surgery pain free and you know walk sip start passing that gas don't try to you know do the best that you can that's all that you can do uh, everybody has difficulty getting water and uh, and protein in at the beginning so um, you know do the best that you can and for everybody who's healing like my my sister Jen um, heal well you're doing great and uh, I'll see you guys all on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.